guys, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different and I'm going to be talking about something that is very dear to me. Um, I, I want to say dear, but it's something that I've experienced. And I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, some tips on how I helped myself to overcome this particular issue and um, don't think this is gonna go away overnight it's something that you have to work on constantly it's it's sort of like an addiction it doesn't go away even if you've been clean or sober for years it's always there right in the back of your head in the back of your mind so I mean it takes constant work but it it can be done and you can learn to love yourself so as the title says these are just some tips on how to overcome low self-esteem so um the first tip is accept yourself embrace your personality and all your flaws enjoy the little things that make you you uh, tip two Work on your own opinion of yourself. Oftentimes when we have low self-esteem, we tend to let others, you know, give their opinions on ourselves, and it really just tears you apart. So you have to start forming your own opinion of yourself. I mean, refuse, to, you have to not think about the insults that people give you, whether they say you're fat or you're ugly or you're skinny or you know for me people used to make fun of my teeth people used to make fun of me being too skinny so I mean you have to refuse to think about that and choose not to internalize it don't internalize the negative comments don't internalize the if you experience abuse don't internalize it you can win if you let go of all the hurt and all the pain in your past and focus on having a great life for yourself. Tip two, continually affirm yourself. Make a list of all your successes, all your good characteristics. Write them down. Write down compliments about yourself, whether you think of it yourself or someone else tells it to you. Write it down. Tape it up on your bathroom mirror. Tape it up on your dressing mirror. And you can see these things every day and read them to yourself and, you know, affirm yourself. Help yourself to feel good about yourself. Um, reject all negative comments, all negative thoughts about yourself. Don't put yourself down. Don't be your enemy. You have to love yourself. Cause if you don't love yourself, you can't expect others to love you. So reject all of that. Step three, start building your confidence. And I'm gonna discuss this in another video on how to build your self-confidence. So let's move on to step four. Don't worry about pleasing others. Focus on pleasing yourself. You have a right to choose and think as how you feel. Don't try to live your life for others because in the end, you won't be treated with respect. And that will put you down even more because you know you deserve better. But because you're trying to please other people, you are letting yourself drop down to nothing. Be your own person. Don't try to be like everybody else. Try to do something for you. Don't hang out with negative people. There are people out there that they enjoy tearing people down. It makes them feel better about themselves. You don't need to be around people like that. You need to be around genuine people that if something doesn't look right, they'll say to you, you know, that doesn't look right. Maybe you should try doing this and to help you look better or to feel better about yourself. You don't need people that's going to tear you down constantly. Don't expect to be perfect. We are human. We were born imperfect. So don't, don't aim for perfection. Just aim to be a, a little better every day. 
do things that make you feel good about yourself. Everybody makes mistakes. We're all learning. This is a learning process for all of us. So I mean, if you make a mistake, don't come down too hard on yourself. That's one of the things I used to do. I always used to try to be so perfect. I still do this even to this day. Like I always try to make things so perfect. And if it's not, I come down really hard on myself. And you can't do that. You can't allow that to happen to you because you're setting yourself up for failure. Just do the best that you can. As long as you know you're doing your best, be proud of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these tips helped you out. And if you enjoyed this, maybe I could talk a little bit more about it. If you want me to do that, let me know down in the comment section. And I'll do another video talking about you know, self-esteem and my personal experience with it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.